Hi beautiful people, welcome to Kate's Space and Pixie Kay's Designs. I'm up north having a crafty few days with my sister and visiting my uh, parents. So uh, this video is going to be how we did this. So this is our first time eco dyeing. We've both wanted to try it for ages. So what's going to happen now, it's going to cut to a bit of a montage video that I tried to make that I'm going to try and edit up and I'll show you the process and then I'm going to cut back here and we're going to show you the outcome. We've got another batch on the stove as we speak because we're so excited about how they turn. I arrived in the far north I'm with my sister, Jo. There's Jo. Hi. We're going to pick some of those leaves off that tree. This is the beginning of our first eco printing adventure. So this is the far, beautiful far north of New Zealand, everybody. So yeah, we're going to go pick some leaves. Come along for the ride, peeps. Okay, so we've picked some oak tree leaves off the side of the road. We've been foraging. Like walnut, not oak. Oh no, not oak tree, walnut. Walnut tree leaves and some baby poplar. Walnuts. Poplar leaves. Look, there's even baby walnuts there. We have brushed our papers with the alum that's coated in, that's dissolved in the water. See me brushing with one hand and filming with the other. Not so good at that. And then we're placing our bits onto the paper. Then we're gonna grab another piece of paper. I'm gonna place it on top. And we're gonna squish it down. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're going to brush our pages with the alum mixture place our leaves and stuff on them and then stack them and then we'll be back when we're about to do the other stuff all right bye we've stacked our papers and then we've put them between two what i think look like aluminium trays yeah. and the rock on top <coughs> is squishing them together so that hopefully our um leaves and flowers and things won't float out from underneath but will stay where they are and create an imprint so the next step I think is filling this tub up with, it's on the barbecue, is filling this tub up with the alum water and I think some vinegar. So I'm just going to go and have a look at the instructions. What do they say about a watched pot never boils? <laughs> We're so excited to see what this is going to be like. We're going to go and collect some more leaves now and do another one. So this is going to, we've decided once it's simmering, we're going to, we're actually going to simmer it for two hours, turn it off, put the vinegar in and let it go cold. And then we're going to open it rather than leaving it overnight. Woo, now we're on the quad bike. This is like farm life right here. We're going to go for more foraging. We're going to get some more leaves because we are like just so excited about this. Oh, hang on a minute. We have to do a selfie video. I don't know what this is going to look like, but hey, <laughs> Jovi, we're eco printing. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's evening now, and it's the big reveal. <laughs> we're quite nervous. Ooh, it's looking cool. Look. Look, everybody shadows because it's evening but I wanted to video this okay oh my, oh my god look how cool that is oh yeah wow so you rinse it yeah, yeah I believe so eh? yeah we just cold water in so that was what's the blue Oh, it's a poppy. Oh, I threw a yeah. poppy petal the red, on. That's the red oh, that's, poppy. That's the last one we did, eh? I threw all those little random yeah, petals on. Yeah, the rings for. Yeah. That's really strong, I think. You don't have to go too nuts, do you? Oh, no, I don't think so. In there. That cool. is cool as. Look at that. I know. Oh, my gosh. Let's do the next one. Right. Um, that's a geranium. That's the little pink smelly, <laughs> smelly geranium. These are the bulbs. So the little amazing, eh? Orange flowers leave a blue. Yeah. 
And look. a real blue. Look at that. I know. I love look that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, those are so That's cool. so oh, neat. Raiding Mum's garden again. Yeah. That's so cool, that blue there. Yeah. Look, it's showing that flower in like really good detail. I that know, is look so at cool. That. We will be going back there <laughs> to raid Mum's the bulbs. bulbs. That is just off the charts. Oh, mm. That's incredible. Excuse my filming. It's pretty bad. Right. Oh, nasturtium's cool. Look. Wow. Those are oh, cool. Oh, that did work well. Yeah, you see what's under that one? Oh, mm. What's this? This was a walnut leaf. And that's the rose leaf. I'm just so happy with how that turned out. Look at that. It's amazing. So cool. I'll show them probably again when they're dry. So that's how we did it i will post below the video that we um that we followed and we're both just so thrilled with how they turned out so i'm just going to do a quick um show and tell of of the papers we this is like a watercolor paper i think it's 160 gsm and the other paper is a paper that joe got um this one here and it's like uh i just think it's like a drawing paper we haven't ironed them but i was so excited i wanted to show you we probably will either put them under some heavy books or iron them this one here is one of our favorites um we love how this daisy here transferred onto the paper it just looks amazing so that's that's one and there's another little flower here the detail in them is we're just so thrilled with and that's the other side. These blue petals here I think are red red poppy petals. And there's a little pod flower pod there. Anyway, I better not spend too much time on each one because it will get really boring. This must have been a top a top page. So on here we've got this one. I wonder if I need to come out a bit. There we go. And we've got this lovely grungy one with these lovely dark leaves. And this here is lichen. So um, it just, we've tried that, some lichen off the fence. And uh, yeah, that's come out this cool orange. So yeah, there's that one. This one, another cool pattern. They just, oh, look at that. I mean, we were just like blown away. You should have heard us last night. Oh, well, you saw the video, so there's probably going to be bits. But there's another one of those little flowers. I think that's a calendula. And, uh, oh, that looks like it might have been a top, a top page there. So the back's not that great. This one, we loved this one. We just feel like we could just almost just put them in a frame. Sadly, that one's got a little... It's got a little hole in it, probably where there was uh, a bit more of a chunky piece of greenery in there. So this one obviously has had some of the lichens come through here. Yeah, oh yeah, there's the lichen on the other side. So amazing how something grey green turns translate as something orange. Look at this one, so cool. We're just like so buzzing. This is blackberry blackberry leaves this one here is probably so some of them are obviously the other side of yeah so that's the other side of that other one with the poppies just so thrilled yeah some that some of the pages are a bit damaged but it's okay you know we're pretty happy that they turned out so good on our first go and it was so much fun you know doing it oh yeah that's a top page as well obviously so that's just got something on on one side but they're just so beautiful and um we can't wait to use them so this one was just like little stalks of grass and things which yeah there's a you can see the imprint of the flower there and this one here uh but the exciting thing is you don't know what you you're gonna get you put something on i mean look at that that's just 
Beautiful, we love it. And then the other side's just as gorgeous. Another flower there that's come out so well. <laughs> We're just so excited. Those are nasturtium leaves, you can kind of see that. Um, yeah, and some of these are native New Zealand plants. I can't remember which ones. I think those are rose, off a rose bush, those leaves. And they've come up with that lovely mottled effect. Just thrilled with these. We're so thrilled. I can't say it enough. I mean, that one's a bit of a mishmash, but it's still just got cool colours. It just, they just look so, what's the word? I don't know. They're just amazing. Oh, yep, yeah, there's the other side of that of that one. I mean, it has actually indented the paper, which I kind of like. And when we iron it, I don't know what what will happen. This one's beautiful as well. This beautiful, just rich blue here that's come through. And then this one, amazing. Look at that. So dark. Organic, that's the word. They're so organic. <laughs> But they actually are. I mean, they're just amazing. So we're so excited. We've got some more going on. So this was two lots. Um, we've put more paper in the next lot. And they're, they're cooking away now. And then we're actually going to go back visit mum mum and dad. Um, my dad's not very well. So um, I'm trying to get up here more. Which is a double-edged sword because I get to hang out with Joe and do a whole lot of crafty stuff. But yeah, um, go and sit with mum and dad for a little while and, and hang with them as well. So it's not good that dad's well. Not well, but it's great that I can come up and do this. So we're going to take these over and show mum because she'll be stoked with them as well. And we're going to do some more. Yeah, I just thought I would share that and I thought it would be so fun to do a video. So if you found the video a bit crazy and mad, well, yeah. That's just uh, us, and we had a great time doing it, and we just thought we'd share it with you. Thanks for watching. If you've stuck with us to the end, see you in the next video. Bye.